Hi, welcome back. This is uh, part two of the probably two part series of the Enigma code. And this video is about how to crack the Enigma. The first one was about the Enigma itself and is the first link in the description below. So check it out before you see this one. So um, last time we figured out that there are 158 quintillion or nearly 159 quintillion possibilities for the settings of the Enigma. And even if we brute force uh, with a million checks per second, we would have to wait 5 million years to check everything. And instead we use a flaw that a letter can't represent itself and we can crack it in an hour. So in this video you will learn how we do that. First of all we need to guess a word so we need to know or assume that like in the first hundred characters there's the word enigma or weather report which we will later use and uh, then we assume that we know the rotor positions and the rotor settings and the um, Umkehrwald settings, so the reflector settings, and if we don't know it, which we probably don't, then we um, just use the same method like three million times for all these settings. So this is just about how we crack the plugboard settings. So we first, as, as we guess the word, um, and we probably want to have like a, a long, relatively long word, and it should be in the beginning or in the end so that we know or that we assume it's like in the first or last hundred characters so that we don't have to check too many possibilities. Um, then we can check in which posi positions it's possible using the flaw because sometimes if they overlap so that it, a T would be um, encoded as a T that would work so we can reject that position for all possible uh, rotor settings, plugboard settings whatsoever because it will never be the case that that is possible. And then we can make a guess on the plugboard so connect one letter to another one and we can use deduce more plugboard settings which I will show you in a second. So I made some changes to the um, layout here um, so this is now the, the bomb setting and not the Enigma setting. So um, I've set the reflector or Umkehrwald, the UKW, um, and the rotors, rotor 1, rotor 2, rotor 3. And then um, the plugboard is empty at the moment. Then we have our secret at the top left. And our guess, which is weather report. And uh, then we will later also see the plugboard setting on the left hand side. So um, now we can basically see that the R or that this position is not possible for weather report because of the R which would be encoded as an R. Then we can just move. So this is the first position where it's possible and we also see a bar chart with which letter is used the most. So we have here 1R, 2R, 3R, 4Rs. And then you see also this one which shows the current setting for the for the rotor, the rotor position. So we can move by one step and then the rotor rotates. And we want to go to the first R. Now Let's assume that we know that the plugboard, or we just guess that R is connected to A. So we connect them, which you see here on the right now. And then we plug in the letter R, or we can plug in the letter E, it doesn't matter because it's symmetric. So we go for R because we connected R to A and we want to go use the plugboard setting otherwise we would have you would need to set e to whatever but um, we actually want to use the r here 
so then I've stopped before the plug board or the, the return of the plug board and now it would connect from H to H but we actually know that it, it has to connect to E so we have to connect E H to E and then we can continue so we, if we set R to A, then we have to connect H to E. That's pr basically what we get. Now we also moved, because um, I've clicked on the R before, we moved one step so because the rotor rotated to the next position. And now we can set, use R again. It's still connected to A. And we need to get an X out of it. So now we have to connect the K to an X and continue. And we have the next R. And now we can use actually the E before because we have connected H to E and can check whether H is connected to E again now, which uh, if I click on H, now we have to connect O to E because of this position but the E is al already connected to H so this does not work so we definitely know that R is not connected to A so we can reset everything or R, at least R is not connected to A if we have this setting, so if weather report starts here. And now we would just um, start over again basically, so we would go to the R again, we would connect R to B and so on, until we find a plug board setting where everything works out with this whole weather report. And if we use the R's and everything later that is connected, we can also set um, W to, if we didn't use W before, we can also set W to whatever, A, or to actually use the full, the full word. Additionally, you also don't only have to consider A connected to B, C, D, up to Z, you also have to check if A is connected to A, or in our case, um, probably R is connected to itself on the on the plug board setting. And now let's do a small recap. So first we start with a rotor and a reflector setting. We will guess a word check where uh, the word can appear using the flaw that one letter can't encode itself. Then we guess a plug port setting for a frequent letter, so in our case that was the R. Then we can deduce more settings and we use contradictions to reject our guesses. And if all 26 plug board guesses fail, so for the R we check all the plug board settings, we don't have to check plug board settings connecting A to B or stuff like that, we can, because the R has to connect to one of the 26 characters. And then we would choose a next uh, rotor setting, so change the position of the rotor or swap rotors or change the reflector setting. And otherwise, if there is no contradiction, we can check whether the message makes any sense. So um, it will, of course, include our guess, 
but that doesn't mean that it's actually the correct setting because if our guess is very small then a lot of rotor settings or enigma settings in general will produce the hint at that position and now i want to thank my patrons on patreon and especially the three listed here because they spend more than four dollars per month and they help to grow this channel and also the blog and here are some interesting links so two links uh, two videos from number file where dr james grime explains the enigma machine in the first one and in the second one the floor so what this video basically is about and uh, then we have the imitation game which is a movie and uh, it's not super accurate but it's quite nice to watch see you next time